Hey yo, what's good YouTube? AJ here, back with another video. And today we're going to be reacting to more Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. This is Lincoln Loud's Showcase. Now, but wait, before we even say, we're going to be, not only are we going to check out Lincoln Loud's Showcase, but I'm also going to be showing off Lucy Loud and Nigel Thornberry. So it's going to be three showcases we're going to show in one video. So for the first one, we're going to show, we're going to check out Lincoln Loud's Showcase, check out his moves, his taunt, and so and so. Like yeah, so without further ado, we're gonna jump right into it. But before we do, if you're new to the channel or you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn the post notification bell on so you don't miss out on anything. All right, let's get it. And I got the Hello house. everyone. My name yep, is Michael Lobos Lobos from the Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl it's Development the Team. And today I'll showcase the moveset of the man with the plan, Lincoln Loud. Lincoln is a versatile character that uses his vast arsenal of toys to keep his opponents in check is and punish yo -yo them when he finds an opening. Let's start with the yo-yo tricks bonanza that is the Lincoln's yo -yo. attacks. He's next. Nice. like neutral S, yo-yo jab. He's next. Nice. Press the pattern repeatedly to continue this attack over and over again. His slide up is yo yo swing. He's nest, confirm. He's and nest. his slide down is watch the dog. You can also press the button repeatedly to continue this attack over and over again. Really? Try using it to make it so it's gonna be like Sheik's new uh, side B. Moving on to Lincoln's air light attacks. Lincoln's slide neutral is aerial yo yo jab. His slide upper is aerial yo yo swing. And his slide down air is yo yo throw down. Lincoln's slide dash attack is scooter ride. Nothing right. manages to bring back suburban childhood memories quite yeah, like so he's Lincoln's definitely messed with that yo yo though. Lincoln's strong neutral is hey butter butter. <laughs> hey. His strong up is lift off. Hey, there's uh, his sister. Uh, what's her name? And his strong down is. Raccoon Ruckus. He moves forward a bit while dealing damage. Right. Let's talk about Lincoln's air strong attacks. Don't tell me he used his little his baby sister's diaper. Lincoln's strong neutral air is Scooter Spin. Hey, I see you, Lincoln. His strong upper is Stinky Diaper. It is. Oh God. His strong downer is VR Slash. Ooh. Lincoln's a strong dash attack, attack huh? is Radical Slide. And now we'll see Lincoln take his hobbies to the next level with his special attacks. Okay, interesting. Lincoln's neutral special is the Splasher. Hey. He fires a stream of water so from flood. his water gun, hitting Wait, damage push and stunning his opponent for a bit. You can aim the stream up and down. Wait, can he push the Try using it again. Wait, I think he fired. Sure. You can aim the stream up and down. Try using it in the air while moving to cover more space and combo it into other attacks. His up special is Ace of Spades. Hey, he turns into a little superhero. He flies oh, upwards God. and then damages surrounding opponents in an area around him. And his down special is Spin Top. He releases a Spin Top projectile that moves along the ground. This Spin Top can also bounce so he has off the gyro. And, spinning. and finally, Lincoln's stunt move makes all of this look too easy. Lincoln stage is How is taunt? Hold on. on. This How is taunt? This also bounce off of walls and keep spinning. And finally, Lincoln's taunt move makes all of this look too easy. Are you fucking Lincoln's serious? He has a taunt that damages. Oh, and there's Lin Loud. This is a large side stage with a lot of platforms. In the Loud House, hey. Looks like Lily is itching to join the fun. Probably for the best she can't. Yeah. But really, now, his taunt is literally like a damage move. In a real match. Play nice. Three, two, one, go. Here's Lin Loud. I think that's a name. Oh my god. He literally has Ness plus Rob and um, plus Mario. Okay, so his, his little water move doesn't really push opponents, but still, though. And his taunt does damage. What the hell? Yeah, that is a spike effect. 
Unfortunately, we're on a grounded stage, so it's not really that useful much. Hey, batter, batter. Let me be honest, this move is pretty unique, though. I think I dig it, I dig it. The results are in, and the winner is... Okay, you know he's gonna go all like this? And that's Lincoln. And then he's just gonna Thank finish Thank you so much for tuning in to this character showcase. And please look forward for more like this in the future. Okay, so Lincoln Loud. I dig his moveset, though. What's crazy was like, see, I didn't see this video yet when it came out, but a lot of people were saying Lincoln was Ness because of the whole, and I was like, wait, does, does that mean he has like probably some firepower or something? I didn't even think of Ness as Yo-Yo until now we see it. So he literally has like the whole Yo-Yo like move similar to Ness. And then he has that little spinning top that's like Rob's gyro. His down B that can move, not like across the stage back and forth, but could just be like on the ground doing some damage. And his fucking taunt does some damage too. Like, okay, Lincoln, all right. Okay, so now after, okay, so Lincoln loud. Okay, so if I got rate one through 10, I gotta give Lincoln... I actually give it a 10 though, because the whole moveset is really like good. And I also dig the stage. Despite that it's a ground stage and it's a pretty big stage, I like it. So the link is a 10 out of 10. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead now and check out Lucy Lau showcase. So go ahead and head to the next one. Alright, so this is gonna be Lucy Lau showcase. And judging by by the thumbnail, her stage is probably gonna be the whole Probably gonna be the cemetery where she's like hanging with her uh, friends at and so and so. So that's what I'm assuming. And then I'm guess I'm obviously thinking her moveset's gonna have like some dark type like effects, you know, like with the bats and probably with that one guy. I think his name was Mr. Fangs or something. She's probably gonna involve that, but whatever. We're gonna go ahead and check that out. And Lucy Loud, yes. I'm shocked they didn't put Lin Lao in. Hello Love everyone, Cemetery. my name is Marco Villalobos from the Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl Development Team. Oh, yeah. And today I'll showcase the moveset of the gloomy goth girl, Lucy Lao. Lucy is a highly technical character with a short range but lots of mix-up options that will keep your opponents on their toes. Oh, with short fear. range. Oh, she, she has three coffee. different scare modes that modify her special effects, requiring quick I mean, thinking about up. which one is appropriate for each situation. Normal, Vampire, and Ghost. You can check the scare mode she's currently in by the effects around her. A bloody cloud for Vampire mode, and a spectral glow for Ghost mode. We'll begin this creepy saying with wait, Lucy's wait, wait, light attacks. On, wait, you said? Situation. Normal, Vampire, and Ghost. You can check which scare mode she's currently in by the effects around her. A bloody cloud for Vampire mode, and a spectral glow for Ghost mode. So she has normal Vampire and all like that. Like, you could tell the red's the vampire, and then, like, the sep, the sep, whatever he said is for the... We'll begin this creepy seance with Lucy's light attacks. Come on, what shit, though? Lucy's light neutral is three of swords. Her light up is roundhouse kick. And her light down is eight of spades. She shovels the ground while moving forward a bit. Use this to literally dig the graves of your opponents. Got the same hoodie as Let's Raven, talk about Lucy's air light attack. Lucy's light neutral air is Aerial Three of Swords. Her light up air is Aerial Roundhouse Kick. And her light down air is Axe Kick. Does that have a spike effect? I don't think so. Lucy's light dash like attack is Ghost Flow. Doom and gloom are strong in Lucy, much like her strong attacks. Lucy's strong neutral is Umbrella Poke. Her up strong is Scythe. Okay, except this Scythe doesn't instantly KO me. And her strong down is Coffin Slam. Coffin Slam. Okay, so that's a, a down spell. Moving on to Lucy's Earth strong attacks. Lucy's strong neutral air is Aerial Umbrella Poke. Her strong upper is Aerial Sight. Aerial, 
and her strong downer is Poetry Slam. Oh, Lucy's strong dash attack is Bat Swarm. And oh. for the true fans of horror and spooks. Oh, so does she turn into a bat for that? Lucy's strong dash attack is Bat Swarm. Oh, she does. And for the true fans of horror and spooks, here we have Lucy's special attacks. Lucy's neutral special is Dark Bite. She bites in front of her. If she hits an opponent, she changes her scare mode. Biting again loops between her modes in the following order. Oh. Vampire mode, then ghost mode. Holding the button while in vampire mode makes her launch four bad projectiles in all directions, and then reset to normal mode. Oh, she gonna Holding the button while in ghost mode makes her turn invisible for a few seconds and then reset to normal mode. This is up special is Flight of the Bats. Oh, that's a good in normal ass mode, she rises upward with slight horizontal control. In vampire mode, she rises diagonally while dealing damage. In ghost mode, she flies upwards for a bit less than in normal oh. mode and lands with a slam okay, to ghost deal damage. Good, like, oh, Lucy's down special is Jump Scare. She quickly teleports a set distance, applying different effects when she emerges. In oh. normal mode, she doesn't apply any effects. In vampire mode, she emerges from a coffin that slams open and deals vampire damage. Coffin. In ghost mode, she gets a few frames of invincibility after emerging. Oh wow. And finally, this is Lucy's stunt move. Lucy's okay. stage is Royal Wood Cemetery. Be the cemetery. This is a small I side stage much, with no though. platforms. A tombstone occasionally rises around the stage, functioning as a wall and a platform. Just stay away from them as they emerge from the ground. Oh, really? Despite the dark decor, Lucy's pet Fangs is just happy to be here. Now, let's watch Lucy let loose all of her graphic energy in a real match. That does have a spider Three, nice. Three, two, one, go! Okay, so her moves are gonna be tough to handle, though. She has different ways depending on what form she's in, between like ghost, vampire, and all like that. Oh, wow, man. Actually, that coffin move, that coffin move, though, is pretty, like, dope. And also, the whole tele- the way she just teleports and all. That's pretty dope. That's pretty nice, though. It's gonna be hard to manage all these moves. Especially since they got different effects depending on what form. And in general, if I gotta rate Root Lucy, I actually would rate her uh, 8. Like, nothing's really wrong with the movesets and all. I dig the movesets. It's just the whole, it's gonna be hard to stay up to date. Not stay up to date, but keep up with what form she's in. Lucy Loud. And that's Lucy. Thank you so much for tuning in to this character showcase. And please look forward to the next Patrick. I just feel like Patrick's is a reference to when. SpongeBob had that seahorse and he had that piece of wood on his forehead. Alright. But like I said, uh, I rate Lucy 8 out of 10. Because I feel her whole like moveset between the whole form she'll take between vampire and ghost. is going to be hard to maintain and also hard to pay attention to when you're playing as her. Like they said the red's the vampire and I think the purple's the ghost. But in general, I dig her moveset. Just that one part's going to just, you know, get me though. Actually, you know what? I put that 9 to 10 instead. So, but she's still good though. I, I dig Lucy and, you know, I would definitely love to try her out. Alright, so that was Lucy Lau's showcase. And now we're going to go ahead and check out Nigel's Dorn Thornberry showcase. So, I'm going to go ahead and jump right to it. Alright, so we had Nigel Thornberry showcase. And the only thing I saw, well, I didn't see, like, the actual footage. But I think I saw I saw a tweet saying Nigel is like Jigglypuff with the rest move. If he has a move that actually involves sleeping, I swear to God, bruh, they really are making this completely Smash Brothers, though. I mean, we already just saw Lincoln with Ness's moves and a bit of Rob's move. So let's see what our boy Nigel got, right? Let's see what he got. Hey, 
Hey everybody! My name is Thaddeus Cruz from the Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl development team. And today we're showcasing the moveset of the eccentric nature show narrator, Nigel Archibald Thornberry. <laughs> Nigel is a character that yeah, emphasizes like the crocodile, and has a heavy weight, strong attacks, and average speed. He excels at close range ground combat with varied attacks that deal high damage and knockback. We'll begin Nigel Thornberry's hey, wild little, world with his hey, light attacks. Little card thing, thing Nigel's light neutral is presenting nature. All right. His light up is. Mosquito Clap. Oh, big name, definitely. And his light down is... Frog Hop. He moves forward a bit while dealing damage and croaking like a frog. So can this also help Try out your recovery? Round, fix up his light up and light down attacks. Moving on to the air light attacks. Nigel's light neutral air is... Woodpecker. Yeah, I just heard that. This hits the opponent multiple times and keeps them close, making okay. it a great combo option. His light up air is... What's over there? And his light down air is... Falcon! Dive. He attacks diagonally downwards, and the direction... You took Falcons up B and turned it to a down B. light dash attack is... Gorilla Charge! Right, and let me look at that dash attack again. Downwards. You just and took Falcon's up B and just made a diagonal like. Nigel's light oh. dash attack is Gorilla Charge. Okay. And here we can observe Nigel mimicking all kinds of animals with his strong attacks. Nigel's strong neutral is Orangutan Punch. His strong up is Bullhorns. Hey, I like that name. And Bullhorns. his strong down is. Scorpion Sting! Ooh. Not just attacks tend to be a bit slower, but they make up for it in having Man, lots of Look at of that damage! Back. That's like 20! Let's talk about Nigel's air strong attacks. Nigel's strong neutral air is Aerial Orangutan Punch. Obviously. His strong up air is Tea Time! How delightfully British! And his strong down air is... Aerial Scorpion Sting. Nigel's strong dash is... Crocodile Wrangler. Okay, so that's his dash. the orangutan punch after this move for some major oh, damage. Oh man, that's fucking And game. now, let's take a closer look at the wild Nigel in his natural habitat, performing his special attacks. Oh shit. Nigel's neutral special is... The Worm. He moves sideways by wiggling like a worm. While in the state, he dodges all attacks and projectiles. Oh, wow, and really? can pass through opponents. Use this move to quickly reposition or avoid oh, he's a going powerful too hit. Much. Nigel's up special is Smashing Whale. Nigel becomes a whale, moving upwards and then crashing into the stage with great force. Absolutely oh, that's pretty good. Smashing. So that's gonna be like. So that's a Nigel's down special. Okay, so that's pretty much like King DDD's Super DDD jump is up B. But the big question is, does that wheel crash have a spike effect when he goes down? That's the question right there. Absolutely smashing. Nigel's down special is flick. He flicks his opponents with insane force. Often finishing them on the spot. What? Beware that this move has a tiny hitbox and long in lag, which leaves him quite vulnerable if he misses. I guess this is what people thought and about Jacob Pop's down special. Nigel's taunt. Nigel's stage is Wild Waterfall. This is a large stage with a chasm in the middle and six platforms. The tree trunks from the waterfall provide additional space to recover your footing, provided you don't fall below the stage. Ah, looks like Darwin's enjoying the show as much as everyone else. Huh? Oh, he's at okay, the bottom. I'm all blocking him. He's right there. And to finish this educational documentary, let's watch Nigel become one with nature. Okay, so his down special is probably what people are referencing to Jigglypuff's rest. Two. 
Because it has a tiny hitbox and then it does like damage like crazy. That's probably what they was talking about. I actually thought he would have had something really like close to it. Like he actually goes to sleep or something. Like this, I can see why. Alright, but Nigel's moveset? Alright. From 1 out of 10. I actually gotta give it a 10 though. Because it goes well with, with who Nigel Thornberry is coming from the show with the whole animal like moves and stuff. Okay, so that does have a spike effect. Alright. But then, the, does the whale one do? Does up be? I mean, upset I'm saying up I don't think so, but... That woodpecker move seems so, like, probably gonna be annoying. And that's Nigel! Thank you so much for tuning into hey, this character time, I see. And please look forward to more like it in the future. Alright, so Nigel Thornberry. Okay, like I said, uh, 1 through 10, I give him a full 10. I dig the whole move set. Like, with the whole animal names, it goes so well with, like, his whole, like, persona of who he is and all. Like, I like that. So, his down special is probably, that little flick he does is what people, is probably what people were saying about how it's so close to Jigglypuff's rest. To any of y'all who play Smash Brothers, um, if you, if you see Hungry Box, you guys can see how Jigglypuff's rest, you have to literally, like, be right in contact with your opponent and it does some pretty good damage though so that's probably why they thought that but then it's not that close like it though i mean it is a little bit though i'll say but anyway nigel thornberry i, I like like i said i like him and also the stage seems pretty annoying to deal with if those platforms are just going to be pushing you down besides helping you but I dig the stage, though. And we see Darwin. I guess Darwin's probably going to be, like, the only Easter egg we see on this stage. So, it would have been cool if we seen Eliza. Actually, I don't think Eliza... Yeah, Eliza, I don't think, is in here. But she probably... I'm calling it that she's going to probably come as DLC. If they start doing DLC for this game. Alright, so, yeah, that's going to be about it. I want to thank you guys for watching. This was the Lincoln Loud, Lucy Loud, and Nigel Thornberry Showcase all together. Normally, I would have... Uh, recorded these separately, but he's just, they're dropping a lot of showcases. Like they just dropped Chorus earlier today, and then there's Oblina who just came out a couple about a day or two ago. So I'll be having those up probably either tomorrow or Sunday. I'm not I'm not sure, but just you know look out for it. But yeah, that's gonna be about it. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this reaction, hit that like button. Don't, don't forget to comment and subscribe and turn the notification bell on. The link to all the showcases of each character, Lincoln, Lucy, and Nigel, will be in the description. You guys can check out more reactions to Nickelodeon All Star Brawl showcases and gameplay reveal trailers and all in the playlist in the description. I want to thank you guys for watching. Until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out. Take care. Have an awesome night. Stay safe.